All right, here is the garage situation. You can see it's starting to kind of come in here. This side's heaving up this way. You can see that. Um, and you can see plainly down there how that the the pavement right here is kind of heaving up like that. And right there you can kind of see that crack right in the middle there. I'm going to show up inside later on. But can you see the, the big crack right there where it's starting to come apart? Over here on the side of the house back in here past this nice big burdock. You can see where it's actually pulling away from the side of the house right there. So it's definitely settling in. Um, don't know if that door opens. I'm, I'm not sure if it does or not. But you can see, I'll show from the inside here in a little bit, but you can see it's a wooden floor and it's rotting out pretty badly there. Again, the con or the uh, pavement's all chipping up here and just coming apart. Um, again, you observe the rot there. That little panel there is knocked out, which wouldn't be that bad of a deal, but when you see the inside, you're going to see why it's really bad. But let me take you around back now and show you that. Okay, here on the side of it, would be the south side. Just kind of pan down here. Raining a little bit right now, but that's the rear uh, support for the foundation. Not so good. Just a bunch of concrete blocks stacked up with some wood on top of that. Not really that good. Did get a free backhoe too, by the way. <laughs> Old John Deere 410. I have no idea if it runs. Probably not. But uh, here's part of the problem. Nice uh, big things of shingles laying here on the ground. Um, but uh, yeah, <laughs> so I have a backhoe now too apparently, but I don't know if it runs. But uh, yeah, here we go on the back. You can see right there, this one here is no longer touching. It's just, it's angled that way. Um, that pier right there is also angled and uh, you can really see it kind of um, coming apart there but that's not the real problem because this most of this is fixable the real problem is up top there that's where the water is getting in at the roofing is coming off the tar paper is all off there and I'll show you the inside here in a little bit, and you aren't going to believe it. Uh, really questioning whether this thing's worth fixing, but you can definitely see, judging by the lines here, it's sagging here and kind of lifting there. Um, and from what I'm seeing underneath there, it looks to be just a like wooden pier. It appears to be piers. Kind of a there's definitely some majorly questionable I mean some of it looks fairly solid some of the big logs and stuff but it's just it's leaning really badly and there's another problem with it you can kind of get an idea there what the problem is the floor is rotting but I'll show you up inside now all right I'm gonna walk out to the garage Open the door here. That's about as far as it goes. It sticks there on the floor. Not a big deal. Just trim the bottom of the door a little bit. I don't think I want to try to level the floor or something. <laughs> Easier to trim the door. But uh, this is a little walkway. It's raining right now, so if there were any leaks, I think it'd be coming through. But everything looks pretty, pretty good. Nothing real bad there. Not this isn't the problem. <laughs> um, Let me just kind of walk out here, try to stay slow with it so people don't get sick. Okay, now this is the scary part. This is the interior here. Um, I don't know if you can hear it, but it's definitely dripping in. And this is the reason why I'm saying I don't know if it's worth fixing. I don't know if it's worth saving. Uh, right there you can see it's dripping on the floor, which means it's coming down from up there. 
Look at that rod. Uh, yeah, not good. Not good. Um, and again, you can see the floors are really, really, really rotted bad. Um, I mean, scary bad. So, I'm going to risk my life now and try to go upstairs so you can get a better idea of what I'm dealing with here. And why I'm saying I really don't know if it's even worth fixing up. Oh, Lord protect me. <laughs> this is scary stuff. And you can... It's just dripping in here like crazy. Um, I went up here yesterday. Hopefully it, it'll hold me again. I go up through here getting rained on. Yeah. Um, you can see that the insulation is all coming down. Uh, you know, the, the problem is, I was talking to the realtor about this, and he said, you know, the outside might be fixable, but the problem is all this wood in here has been getting dry, or been getting wet. There you can see the holes. They're up there, we're just letting all the water in. The roof trusses look pretty big. They look pretty solid up in there. Probably about six by eights, perhaps. So they look pretty solid. Um, but the problem is, of course, that we're getting a lot of water in here. I am not walking too far in this place because it's real scary. You can see a lot of water is coming down in there. I don't know if that's green carpet or just algae <laughs> back in there. Pretty bad. But uh, what I was saying earlier about the door jams and stuff being crooked, well, you can definitely see things are leaning very much here. And um, a window over there is crooked and everything. So the floor in here, you can see over there the floor is buckled up like that I mean this thing is not so good um, yeah so even if I could save the outside of it I am seriously doubting that I'm going to be able to save this inside uh, pretty bad here's the the window behind me um, looking out there to the little roof of the little walkway between the house and that shingle roof isn't looking too pure over there either it's probably going to need to be replaced I'm not really that great at shingles I usually put metal roofing on but so you see the dilemma I have here um, had this been in good shape it would have been really neat it would have been nice to have more room more rooms up here and everything but uh, I'm going to get out of here about now. I think I don't really want to stay in here too much more. It's kind of a little scary. This floor here is just... I mean, you couldn't pay me to try to back a vehicle into this thing. Um... There's the bottom of the garage door again. You can see it's rotting out right in there. Um, so, I mean, if you're a professional construction guy or whatever, well, maybe you would look at this and say, oh, you know, I could actually fix that up without too much hassle or cost or whatever. Or you might be saying, tear the thing down, brother. It's, it's bad. Um, I'm not professional construction, but to me, the problem isn't so much the outside and the foundation shifting and things. The problem is that up there. I mean, that is just pure rot up in there. Just that wood is soaked. You know, it looks like it's mostly the floor, floorboards, but then you have that one right there. That thing is looking pretty bad up in there. 
a lot of mold on it and just ugh, not good at all so let me know what you think in the comments below um, after coming in here and looking at this thing, I looked at it just a little bit while I was, you know, here with the, the initial showing with the realtor. And I kind of looked over at this floor here and I thought, eh, bad. And then up there, oh, bad. But uh, now that I'm actually in here, now that we own the place, I didn't buy it for the garage, you know. Um, that was just secondary. But now that I'm actually in here, I just think my answer is no. I don't think it's worth fixing. Um, I think it's just the, I mean, even back in here, you can see the water stains on the ceiling. So, yeah. Um, and, you know, it, I want you to keep in mind something else, too. Uh, another thing, and that is this is northern Maine. Okay, this isn't like down south or something where you don't have to worry about a snow load. Um, here, we will be worrying about snow loads. Um, we can get... You know, we don't get inches of snow here. We get feet of snow in this part of Maine. And so to have a couple feet of snow up on top of this thing, uh, it's going to bring it down eventually. I've seen a lot of places that don't make it through the winter. So let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching.